I just got a comment on my YouTube video from an experienced software engineer asking if they should become AI researcher. And this is something everybody has to figure out for themselves because AI research is a lifelong journey. You need to figure out if you want to do this for your whole life. So we all know benefits of being AI researchers. So you are contributing to science, you have purpose, goals, skill, you can make friends easily, everybody likes you, you can make money. But I want to point out to a few things that beginners especially may not think about. Of course, the first thing you will do is you will determine the reason that you want to become AI researcher or scientist or whatever you want to do. And so for me, I was working at a job and I was having a decent salary, but I was in my room, I felt forgotten and I just felt like I was making money, but this didn't contribute to the world. And I felt like my YouTube videos are contributing a lot more than my job that was just making me a bunch of money. It was kind of software engineering job. But be careful, even if you get a job at OpenAI or DeepMind, they will still tell you what to do. So you may still end up in a trap of doing things you don't believe in, being forced to do things you don't like, you don't want to do, that you feel like are not contributing to the world. So think about that as well. Sometimes there are these posts on LinkedIn, somebody from Google DeepMind looking to hire some people and at first it seems exciting, oh if I could just get this job. But the reality is you may be still forced to do what you don't believe in. So for me making YouTube videos is a lot better way, even though I make a lot less money than the good software engineering job. Uh, this allows me freedom and to figure out what I want to do. Now, do I want to start my own AI research lab? Do I want to do PhD? I'm not sure yet. But making those videos, I feel like they are contributing to the world a lot more than the job I, I worked at. And uh, it gives me the freedom and I'm not forced. So another example would be Su Jian Lin. He is currently very successful. He's an inventor of rope, rotary positional embeddings. Everybody is using it, every company. But uh, he invented that after 12 years of writing blogs. So he started 2009 writing blogs on math, AI research, other things. And then in 2001, I believe, he invented rope. So 12 years it took him. So don't forget about that. 2021. Another thing is there is no so much money in science. Uh, because that will be useful in 50 to 100 years and you cannot sell that compared to building a product that's gonna sell in one year. To get a good job at a good company for a high salary, you probably need 10 years of doing this. Now, it can be 10 years of write, my, making YouTube videos, writing blogs, doing PhD, whatever, but probably many years. And it's also questionable if you even want to get a job at OpenAI DeepMind because they will still tell you what to do and you will do things that the company needs you to do and not the things you believe in, you are excited about, you want to explore. For example, Su Jian Lin is working at Moonshot AI, creators of Kimi, Kimi K2, Kimi K2 Thinking, and he writes a blog post on the side. Uh, I believe he's enjoying his work at Kimi. Uh, and for me, I'm doing YouTube, I'm thinking of... Uh, making YouTube my core and then producing papers and showing them on YouTube. So I think you need to discover your own path that's going to be exciting and purposeful for you. Another thing I talked about in my last video, three hard truths about AI researchers beginners must know, a link below, is that AI research is not a good way to solve your socializing problem. So internet fame, likes, views you get from publishing paper cannot replace you going out and talking to people in real life. So this is a trap young people may fall into. They are thinking, okay, I feel lonely right now. I'm not so good at making friends. But once I start publishing papers, I'm going to get attention on LinkedIn, on X. But in reality, it will not replace you going out, talking to people in real life. Because if you don't do that, if you just sit in your room, do AI research, you will feel lonely. It will uh, be depressing. And one thing I learned from experience is when I was younger, my social skills were not so good. So I struggled to make friends. There was, uh, I didn't know like about envy, about jealousy of other people. I didn't know how to interact, how to behave. So making friends was difficult. So I thought I was introverted. But five years later, 10 years later, 
I learned a lot more how to socialize about uh, social skills and now I realize I'm actually very extroverted. I just didn't know how to make friends, how to talk to people. So a lot of you may think you are introverted because you are struggling to make friends, but it may be that you are struggling because you don't have uh, developed social skills. But once you develop them, you will realize you actually like uh, spending time with people, meeting new people a lot more than you thought. But uh, doing AI research will help you make more friends, make smarter friends because you have goal, purpose, ability and people like that. It just cannot replace going out and talking to people and making friends. And then there is a lot of hype on the internet about large language models, about these papers. But uh, hype doesn't equal the best research. Probably research papers that will prove to be very good in 10 years maybe right now get like three likes or five likes, maybe 20 views. So keep in mind that you will be working on some obscure specific thing with maybe two other, three other people and that's your entire social circle around AI research. And this goes back to my point that you need to uh, handle socializing separately than AI research. And this is extremely important for extroverted people because you will struggle, you will be depressed or lonely if you uh, just rely on AI research for your social needs, which is not gonna happen. That's gonna be it for this video. Join my school to become AI researcher, link below and see you in the next lesson.